Hey everybody, today we're going to look at total battles specifically for small players. I'm going to show you how to raise your valor and how to gain experience quickly. Now, it's very important to remember first, before you do this, go to your bonuses, see what you have, click the valor bonus, click the experience bonus. If you have army strength, also add that, as well as army health. That's going to maximize your effectiveness against the monsters, as well as get you 100% extra on both your experience and your valor, which is what you're going to need to grow your captains and to grow your strength of your army. So right now, showing you with the level one players. So I'm going to train some level one soldiers. It's going to cost you silver. We're going to train them. Typically, typically I would just go in, hit the help button, and let my clan mates help me out. Uh, the clan help lowers the amount of training time. But for these purposes of the video, I'm just going to speed through it real quick. Now today's active tournament is the Arcane Swarm. So I'm going to check out what captains I have to go into battle against the Arcane Swarm. Currently I have my level 30 and up captains. I'm going to go in and look for the lowest level captain that I have, which happens to be Captain Farad at a level 14. If you have a lower level captain, that's fine. Use the lowest level captain that you have. Each captain has own, its own specialty, whether it's arm, uh, specialist strength, monster strength, construction speed, research speed. Captain Farad is, r increases his research speed. So the Arcane Swarm, we're going to go ahead and click on the Epic Squad, hit the attack button. Now you can bring all three of your captains into battle, which allows you to bring more players, uh, more of your soldiers, more army to fight. But for this video, I'm just going to take my lowest level captain. I'm going to do a mix of the riders, archers, and spearmen. There we go. Just the level one. You see there the might that a level 14 captain is able to carry. I'm not going to bring any of my mercenaries. I'm going to show you next the difference that mercenaries make. So I'm just going to speed up the march. Here we go. Okay, now the battle's over. Everyone's going to die, no matter what level soldiers that you have, whether it's monsters, mercenaries. Everyone's going to die when you go into the battle. But you see, we did manage to kill three monsters. And check out our valor. 72,000. I got 219,000 experience points. I got 15,000 meat for our dragon. We did not use our dragon in this battle. Also, I do not have the bonuses turned on uh, since I don't plan on playing this after the video. So I didn't turn on the one hour bonus. Um, so you would get 100% more. So about 140 some thousand valor if I would have had the bonuses turned on. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to revive our captain. And then I'm going to show you adding mercenaries, the difference that it makes. Probably could revive these guys, but I'm just going to kill them off here. And I'll go buy some new soldiers rather with my silver rather than spend my gold reviving them. I'm going to go back to the army. I'm going to go back to level one archers, spearmen, and riders. I'm going to train them same as I did before. Just going to change up the mix a little bit with spearmen uh, and our archers. Maximize the riders. Now, mercenaries. You can acquire them through different tournaments, whether it's the Triumphal Challenge or the Lucky Bazaars going on right now. Uh, you can spin the wheel and you can win some of those other mercenaries. But I'm going to send the standard mercenary in. I put 35 of them. I think you can get 95 if you get to the appropriate level in the Triumphal Challenge, which is like the monthly challenge. So we'll speed it up. There we go. Now watch the difference this makes when you send your mercenary in. And remember, I don't have any bonuses on. So if you have the numbers you're about to see are without bonuses. So our captain went up from level 14 to level 17. So we got quite a bit 
of experience from that battle. His research speed is now up to three, and you can see the other bonuses. I will go check the report. Look at that, 400,000 Valor. That would be about 800,000 had I had the bonuses turned on. 1.2 million experience points. Again, that would be close to double if you had the bonus. And then the meat, around 83,000. If you don't have a dragon, you just collect the meat and it saves up until you get the dragon. And then you can use it to feed him and evolve your dragon along. So that is it. Again, you can send three captains. So if you do have one higher ranking captain that you're using for the majority of the time, or maybe two higher rank captains, and you have another captain that you want to level up, this is the way to level that lower captain very quickly. Throw them in with the other two. If you happen to have some mercenaries, great. Throw them in there. Um, everyone's going to die. It does cost potion and gold to rebuild the character, to rebuild the soldiers and rebuild your army back up. Um, so if you don't have a lot of gold and you can only make one run at it, it's going to take a little while. Uh, but this is the fastest way to grow. Go into the to the big arcane swarm, doomsday, whatever tournament happens to be going on. Everyone's going to die. Just send them into their slaughter. Uh, but you can get your your captains leveled up pretty quickly that way. It also help getting the valor helps you with your research, everything that adds might into the strength of your overall army. Well, that's the tip for today. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you hit the video with a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and come on back for more. And if you have anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments, and I'll put together a video for you. Till next time.